let's talk about dark mode, light mode and themes. Now this is something that I need to implement a little bit more myself. But the other night I was scrolling through my phone in bed. I know, kind of a bad habit. And I went on this website, blinded I was by light mode. I thought, yeah, I definitely need to implement this a bit more. So here I'm gonna go over how to implement dark mode using CSS media queries, then using a toggle, and then also as a bonus, how to select different themes from a drop-down menu. Now, if you're like me and you're terrible at picking colors, I use this website, Coolers. It's great for generating different colors and you can search for dark mode themes. I'll have it linked in the description below if you wanna check it out. But as a quick example, I'm just gonna show you what I am implementing. You can make this as complicated or as simple as you like. I'm gonna be doing a simple version today. I'm gonna to be using three different colors, a background color, a text color, and an accent color. But add more if you like, add less, it's up to you. This is the great thing. You can make it as customizable as you like. So here I have my accent color as red and even on my links when I hover over them, they have an underline of red. Brilliant, my text is black and my background is white. If I click dark mode, everything changes. I get a yellow color, the accent works all nicely and the text is a light gray. Then I also have a neon one, which is quite blinding if I'm honest. But again, color, accent colors, background color, all seems to work nicely and to show you that it works with preferences. Right now, I have light mode on my computer. If I turn to dark mode, it changes based on that as well, which is brilliant. So how we are gonna build this is with CSS variables. We'll put the base color in the root of the CSS, and then we'll use classes or media queries to modify the variables themselves. This makes it really easy to manage. There will be a little bit of JavaScript that will be for toggling and getting these selected values, but not a lot really. So this is my index. I've got my H3 as my title, a list, my checkboxes, and my select ones. And let's just head straight over to the styles. Okay, so we're gonna target the root here. So I want a background color, a accent color, and a text color. So let's just do BG, BG color, this will be white. Then I want my text color. Uh, I'll just call it text one. Text one, I'll just copy this color because it's not quite black. And then accent one, that was, was that red? Okay, so we've got our variable set up here for the root one but nothing's changing, that's because we haven't changed anything here. So we're just gonna replace white with var, and that will be background color. You'll not notice any difference here. Black will be var of text one. Might notice a slight change, but it is very subtle. And then the background color, this is gonna be my accent color as well. So this will be var accent one. And I'll also change the H3, just so you can tell that it's making a difference. So that will become accent one. So there we go, our CSS colors are changing nicely. Now we wanna do the CSS media query first, so you get the user's preference on whether or not it's using dark mode or light mode. I believe it's only those two. You can either have dark mode, light mode, or no preference for the value. So let's do that now at media and preference reference color scheme scheme dark. So this is saying if it's dark, we want to change the colors. I'm just going to copy these so I know what the variables are called. We can swap these around if we really want. I'll do this, was it yellow? And I don't really want white, but I will put white for now. Okay, so does that work if I change my theme? It has not worked. So it's not preference, it's prefers, prefers color scheme. There we go. I think preference sounds a lot more natural in my head. I don't know why. So pref prefers color scheme, dark. Great, 
that works nicely. If I go back to light, it's gone back to light mode. Brilliant. Now get the toggle. So I'm going to use classes here for the toggle to change the colors. And I'm pretty much going to use the same colors here. Well, I will use the same colors here, I should say. I'm just going to call this class uh, dark or dark mode. So if I toggle this, it will change, but I need to set up the JavaScript. And in my index.html, I've got the ID of dark mode toggle. And I've got a function to say toggle dark mode. Let's just do let dark mode toggle equals get element by ID. And we've got the ID there function, let's just copy the name, dark mode toggle, so that happens on click, and as the name suggests, we want to toggle whether or not dark mode is going to be on or off, so we'll do document, we're going to target the body because we want it to affect everything here, class list dot toggle, and I called it dark mode I believe, let's have a look. Toggles on, off, on, off. Colors are working nicely. So there's the toggle working. And just as a little bit of a bonus, I want to select different color themes and get this drop down option working. So again, let's just quickly look at the index.html that I set up. It's got an ID of theme and an on change of select themes. So let's just copy this function. We're going to get the ID and say this is let theme. So when I'm changing themes, I want to first remove all other themes, or remove all themes, I should say, just so we're starting with a blank canvas and then we can add the class which has the theme and the CSS variables that we need. I'm going to use the names here. So the values are going to represent classes. So we've already got a dark mode class, which is brilliant. Let's create a neon class. And I'm just going to copy the previous colors I had before on the example, just to make life easier. So let's remove all the classes first. So we've got document dot body dot class list dot remove and let's remove dark mode and neon and what were the other ones I had theme one and theme two even though they don't actually exist I'm just going to remove them for now without the dashes Then I want to check. So if it's using default, that should not add a class. So let's just do a simple check. If theme dot value is equal to blank, because that's what it's set up as in the value here, just return. And this will get us out of the function. Otherwise, document.body.classlist.add theme.value. So let's have a look. We've got dark mode, works nicely. Default goes back. And we've got neon as well. Perfect. So that is a quick guide on how to add themes to your website using a toggle, using CSS media queries, and even selecting between different themes. Now, where would I go next with this? Well, you could add in local storage or if you're using a database, save the user's theme there. So when you open the website again, it remembers what the previous theme was selected. And another great option would be to add a high contrast mode. It might be a little bit more difficult to make, but definitely worth it, especially for people who are 
visually impaired. But that's where I would take it next. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want to learn about and I will try my best to accommodate. Hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you later.